The WebPI is a free tool that can be used on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows Server 2003, and Windows Server 2008. The version 2 beta release makes it easy not just to install the web platform, but also the applications from the Windows Web App Gallery. I'm going to show you how you can get the WebPI on your computer. There are multiple ways you can install the WebPI. You can go to the www.is.net community site to download the 1.0 and 2.0 beta, or you can go to the Microsoft Web Platform Downloads page where you can also install the 1.0 or the 2.0 beta version. Communities who participate in the Windows Web App Gallery can also host a button on their websites that automate the installation of their application using WebPI. Here on the Gallery Community site, you can click the Install Now with the Web Platform Installer, which will look for the WebPI on your computer, and if it's there, launch the installation of the Gallery application directly, or it will allow you to install the Web Platform Installer if you don't have it. You can also get the WebPI when you're installing an application from the Web App Gallery. The Web Application Gallery is a new destination on www.microsoft.com that helps Windows users find and easily deploy open source applications onto Windows computers. All application installs from the Web App Gallery are handled by WebPI. Let's say I want to select an application from the most popular list. I can see that .NET Nuke has gotten a lot of downloads, so I can click More Information to find out more about this application. I can read more about the .NET Nuke application and learn that it's an ASP.NET content management framework, check out its current version, uh, when it was released, and also user ratings for this application. Let's go ahead and click Install. The Web App Gallery will check to see if the Web Platform Installer has been installed on my computer. If it hasn't, I need to go ahead and get the WebPI, which I can do by clicking on this Get the Microsoft Web Platform button. This is going to launch a setup application for the Web Platform Installer. It's a pretty fast setup, just takes a few seconds. And once it's done, I need to refresh my browser. Once I do that, I can go to the .NET New Community Edition Details page and I see that it's already been selected for my install list in WebPI. Because I clicked Install on the Windows Web Application Gallery, WebPI has automatically added .NET Nuke to my install list. At this point, I just need to click Install, and I'll go through a simplified installation experience to get .NET Nuke running on my computer. Thanks for watching this video where we walk through different ways to find and install the Windows Web Platform Installer, including going to the Microsoft.com Web Gallery, participating in community sites with the Install Now button, the IS.NET website where you can install from the WebPI page or any server extension or the Microsoft.com slash web slash downloads page where you can get either the 1.0 or the 2.0 version of the web platform installer.